Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan and welcome to my plan with me in two planners for October 17th through the 23rd. Do you notice anything? This is a cover from a fall seasonal surprise box that we had in the past. I don't remember what year it was, but you know what? I snipped off my vegan leather cover just so I could get into the holiday spirit for Thanksgiving and fall and Christmas and start changing my covers again. I just got kind of tired of having a vegan leather cover. I didn't expect to do that. I thought I was just going to keep it all year, but I'm so pleased to have two fall covers now. And the other one that came in the seasonal surprise box this year, the watercolor leaves, I have it on my notebook. So if you wanna see the whole ensemble, voila. Here it is. So these two are the recent um, fall covers that were offered. Uh, you could choose one or the other for the fall, fall seasonal surprise box. And this was one um, that was in a, a previous fall seasonal surprise box. And they look great together. I don't think I ever got the Ombre Pumpkins cover. Um, and it's gorgeous. But imagine that with this also. If you had a few notebooks, you know. A lot of us do. The sticker kits that I'm going to use this week are both from Boulder Bond in my vertical, or it's not a vertical, it's an hourly, but you use a vertical sticker kit uh, a lot of times. Um, it's called Cozy Autumn, and here are the sheets. Cozy Autumn indeed. I've got on my layers hoodie. Do you remember when they sold um, hoodies in colorful and neutral layers? Erin Condren did. Um, so I've got that on, and then the Compact Vertical also has a Cozy Autumn kit. So let's go ahead and plan. I've already taken a look at my monthly spread to just review what I had already pre-planned for the month on the monthly spread, and also some of the goals that I have. I wanted to check in with those. Some of this stuff is already done, like the Needlework Guild shopping we did this week. Did all the bill paying and the October budget. I have not done any of this, although, I, well, I have done some of it. Replace. We needed to replace our Christmas tree, and I, I did replace our Christmas tree. I actually bought two Christmas trees, and here's the deal. For many, many years, we did have real Christmas trees, like not artificial Christmas trees, because we loved the scent of it, and that was our tradition every year. But things changed because the boys grew up, moved out, and then about five years ago, I started getting headaches from real Christmas trees. And so we switched to an artificial tree. And I was so excited to have a pre-lit tree. But let me tell you, they're not all they're cracked up to be. I mean, would you agree? We got ours during a Black Friday sale at um, Lowe's. And it was a really good deal. It was a beautiful tree that had very realistic looking needles. And um, it was pre-lit with white lights. And it was great for the first two years. And then on the third year, a big chunk of the lights section went out. And then on the fourth year, it was so bad that we had to add lights. I think on that third year when a, a certain patch of lights went out, it was just kind of minimal. And we really just covered that area with extra ornaments. And it wasn't very noticeable. But by the fourth year, it was definitely noticeable. And we had to add maybe one, two strings of lights. And then by the fifth year, which was last year, it was ridiculous how many of the pre-lit sections weren't working. There were more not working than were working. Okay, so that's one of the factors. The other factor is that we have always had kind of a big tree. So we did have a large pre-lit tree. And I'm basically the one who does all of the decorating. Um, and so it was getting a little bit, I don't want to say annoying, but difficult for me to work around a big, fat, and tall tree, especially when the lights weren't working and I had to add lights and 
kind of work my way around the pre-lit lights that weren't working and add lights to that and kind of disguise it so it didn't look weird. But what I decided to do, I, I'm rambling a little bit, but what I decided to do was to go with two trees this year and they're both skinny. So they're seven foot trees and they're skinny. So that way, what I'm hoping is that it's going to look really nice, but it will be easy for me to maneuver around it. And we'll have a tree in the center of one of the front windows and a tree in the center of another front window. Because so we have a ton of ornaments also, and I don't think one skinny tree would hold the ones that are the most special to us. So anyway, I did do some of that goal about replacing and purging um, Christmas decorations. So checking in with your monthly calendar is helpful, especially when you're halfway through the month and you want to make sure that you haven't overlooked one of the goals or to-dos that you had. Um, so that's what I did. And I made a list. So I, I looked at everything and then made a list on a notepad so that I won't have to keep turning back. The only thing I will have to turn back for is when I copy the memory verse for the first time because I don't have that one memorized and it's the longest one of the month. And all of this month's memory verses have been from the book of Ecclesiastes. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is because we're going to need some gingham on top of that. Just decided we needed some. This is gingham washi tape from the, let's see, Stationery Pal. I was going to say from the washi tape shop, but it's not. It's not from the washi tape shop. They have gorgeous, like, designer washi tapes with a lot of gold foiling and um, artist designs and stuff like that. Stationery Pal has, I didn't find a lot of really fat washi like you can find at the washi tape shop. But I did find tons of gingham washi in different colors. And gingham is one of my all-time favorite things. In fact, it's probably a wonder that I don't dress in gingham all the time. I do have some tops that have checks. I'm sure you've seen the sleeves in some of my plan with me's because I'm, I'm just a sucker for gingham and checks and plaid. Love it, but I especially love gingham on planner stickers. I don't know, I really like it. Maybe we'll put a little bit down here also. And not maybe, definitely we will put some down here also. That's cute, cute, cute. And it complements the colors in this Boulder Bond kit, which are not like really dark fall colors. They're more like bright fall colors. Okay, now let's see if we can fit those date covers on. We sure can, and I think what I'm going to do is like kind of put some of it on the paper, some of it on the washi, just because washi is hard to stick to. So we want it to have a little bit more of a kind of textured, porous surface to adhere to. Let me update you on something. I filmed last Tuesday the Erin Condren holiday collection. I couldn't tell you what I was filming last time. Um, but it, I can say that now. It is the Erin Condren Holiday Collection, which has some really nifty ideas for gifts this year. But I didn't upload the video as I had planned to, to show on the 14th, because the affiliates got a kind of last minute um, request to not show one of the items that was in the box, because it turns out, it won't be available until a little bit later. So what I have decided to do, rather than refilming that entire holiday collection, is to just stick with the video that I have and not show it, not make it public until October 25th when I'm allowed to talk about that one item that we needed to kind of push back a little bit until it was the um, ideal date for that because of when it would be available and stuff like that. Um, but I will tell you that the thing that I'm not allowed to show or talk about right now is my favorite thing in the whole holiday collection. So it will be worth the wait in my opinion. Um, we're going to start with 17. 
and I think I will get my tweezers to assist with this. Also, you know, we talked about how um, it's kind of a good exercise to map out your ideal month and your ideal week, and then use that as your template for actually planning your month and your week. And that has been a really great practice. It, this is the first month that I've really put it into full practice. I've done an ideal month and an ideal week set up before, but I've never actually made it a habit to consult it every time I do a plan with me for the month or for a week. So part of that was that filming would be best for me on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I had planned last Thursday to film a bunch of Moxie Life stuff but I did not receive the Moxie Life things until the following day. And Friday is mom day and I had a music teacher's meeting and piano lessons and so I couldn't film it. That's what I'm getting at, I could not film it. So I'm going to try to film that this weekend because the 18th is, right now I'm back on the weekend. So the 18th is when the Moxie Review Crew as we are called, are allowed to show the insides and all the nitty gritty, the details about the new 2023 Moxie Life planners and accessories. Um, you can already see the covers for 2023 and you can also see like on Instagram some sneak peeks of these things in real life, but none of the affiliates on the review crew have been allowed to kind of do flip throughs, show you close ups of the pages and stuff. We're allowed to do that on the 18th. So I do have my box. I just haven't filmed it yet because I it arrived after my film day. But the launch day for Moxie Life is on the 20th of October. So if you're a Moxie Life user or if you're planning to become a Moxie Life user, that is your day. And you want to kind of get prepared and do your homework. Like, what do you like? What do you want to order? Because, you know, there's a chance some things could sell out. So you kind of... Whether you're actually going to order on that day or not, you might want to just have your shopping list ready to go just because, I don't know, it, there's just a chance that, that some things could sell out. All right, is this cute? Because I really, look at this. The colors are so warm and cozy and inviting. I'm loving these colors. Goodness. By the way, I always cut off these numbers that are left over and save them in my sticker storage book from Erin Condren for, you know, times when I don't have number stickers. Here's a close look at some of the event boxes that come with the Cozy Autumn kit. And I'm going to use these four right here to mark piano lessons like this. And I'm going to use some washi tape probably to mark out the hours and then kind of put this with it. So let's try that. There is some washi in a, the perfect color with the kit. So let's use that and go from seven o'clock up to three with each day and hopefully have enough for four days because I have two strips of this skinny washi. And then when you cut the stickers from Boulder Bond, it helps if, you, if you're using a handy scraper, it helps if you turn it more so that the sharp is kind of pushing into it more because this is not regular paper. This is like that weatherproof matte paper and it is more rubberized or something. In fact, I don't even know if it's paper po paper at all. It might be some kind of plastic thing, I'm not sure. But there was enough for three days with that strip, and so we'll have plenty. And then after this is down, you'll see what I'm going to do with those four piano event stickers. So here is the handy scraper. This is like a cheap razor blade tool. I have some linked below, but if you just kind of turn it so that the sharp part is pointing in, it cuts really easily. And then we'll just save this little bit. 
and stagger the piano stickers. Well, stagger, I don't know if that's the right word. They're offset and they're kind of, it's kind of a mailbox shape. We're making mailboxes. And it's lesson seven this week. Here we go. All right, so I've got a clean color dot marker here and the color is oatmeal. And I just put a little dot there and write lesson seven. That's been the way I've been doing it. I used oatmeal last week also, but that kind of works well for me. We pretty much have to put this bookshelf down here because it's so cool. So we're going to put it like right at the beginning to the left so there's still some room to write on Monday. There it is. Look at all the cute little things. There's a pumpkin and a candle and some books that you can curl up with on a cold autumn day with a cup of your favorite coffee or tea. This Erin Condren highlighter, which is, they call it a square highlighter and I don't know why, but it's a super cute chunky little highlighter that comes in a set of four. So the other colors are these and they all have the little asterisk on them, super cute. But what I'm getting at is that the orange one, I tested it, matches these colors perfectly. So what I wanna do is draw a line right here at the 10 o'clock line, all the way to here, to, to the weekend. And hopefully I won't mess it up. I wanna get the chisel tip right from the beginning. I think I did that right. Let's see, isn't it the perfect color? All right, let's do that on the other side and just go to Saturday. Fan it off. That color is perfect for this. It was made for October 17th to 23rd. Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday this week are Mom Days, and I'm going to use this kind of peachy orange color to write Mom Day. Actually, I used my Mom Day script stickers and the Mama Gloria heart icon, because that's Mom's icon, and hopefully it will come off of that. Yes. Okay, so these will go on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay, and then we have a bunch of stuff to do on Monday, and then we have a luncheon on Thursday. On Monday, I'm going to use one of these little Cozy Autumn Sunflower Checklist boxes um, just to list all the little errands and things Mom and I have on our list. And then we'll write the things in. There we go. And then I have on Monday, this was something I decided to put on my monthly ideal month every month and that is like the third Monday of the month I think that's what I decided is a Goodwill drop off and shop because I kind of love thrift shopping it's like a treasure hunt I've talked about this before it's like a treasure hunt it takes you a while but once you find that top from a brand that you really love but it's expensive and you pick it up for four dollars it's it's worth it and not just because it's the brand that you like but because you know it's something that you would enjoy and it fits you and all that good stuff but i don't try on the clothes in the store i actually am pretty good at telling if something's going to fit me or not and i take it home because i like to wash it before i try it on and you can return things, not for money back, but you can return them and exchange them for something else if you do it like within a week. So that's what my method is normally. Okay, so we're gonna go on to Tuesday, which is a home day. Let's do a little combo thing. I don't need a checklist. I really need one of the plain boxes here and I need a few of them. So since I only have one of those without a, a little divided section. I'm going to cover that with a Mama Gloria Shop house icon and use probably, let's use these. 
Let's use these. No, I kind of like the warm color. Let's use those. Look how cute that turned out. Oh my goodness. I love little adorable things like this. Now on Tuesday, I will have a lunch date. However, I'm still calling it a home day. Friday will be a home day instead of Thursday this week since the luncheon for mom is that day. And then Saturday is a home day. I guess we'll just put it here. It's a little bit different on Saturday. So again, Tuesday the 18th is when the Moxie Life Review crew, it's a big crew this year, will be able to post um, videos and in-depth looks at the inside of the 2023 Moxie Life Planners. So I'm going to put it up here. I think I can schedule my video to go live at 6 a.m. Eastern. So there are tons of reviews and everybody has different things to review, but I have pretty much one of everything to look at. Um, not every single thing, but pretty much everything that you would want to see. So um, check out my video. And then if I don't have something that you're looking for, Shantae has, and I forget her last name, I'll have to look that up and put it up on the screen. I'll put her Instagram handle, but Shantae has put together a guide, and I think it's three pages long, listing the entire review crew and what specific products they are reviewing. So if you can't find something on your own, on YouTube or Instagram, wherever you look for these reviews, then check out Shantae's guide because it, it tells you what everybody has. She even gives you a link directly to their Instagram and to their YouTube as well on this guide. Also on Tuesday, I have a lunch date with my friend Sarah Klein, who is known as Plan with Ronald on social media. And so I'm really looking forward to that. The last lunch date that we had planned didn't work out because... She was a little bit sick and she did not want to risk me passing something along to the new baby if the baby was born because at that point, um, our grandbaby was due. So we postponed it and now we get to have our lunch date at last. There we go. Just wanted to move that little grocery icon up. And after that piano, I don't think I have any filming to do that day. So it should just be lunch date, nice and leisurely. And then, I don't know why I can't get these off. Um, and then home to prep for piano. And speaking of piano, let's put like some music notes down here in the open space. I think the black ones will look best, at least from this collection that I have, which is from graphic, graphics and more, graphic art. I can't remember. It was an Amazon sticker and it's vinyl. It's a good one. It is a good one. Yeah, that that's really neat. I like how that just kind of filled up that empty space and described what's going on. Here's the name of that shop. It is Graphics and More. And I don't know if this is the item number. I don't know what. But if you just type in Music Notes, they have different color options. And I think I just got like primary colors. Um, and it's lasting me a long time. We don't have anything particular on our list for Mom Day Wednesday. It's just Mom Day and Piano Wednesday for right now. And then on Thursday, we do have some stuff. First of all, it is Moxie Life Launch Day. So if you are a Moxie Life user, that's your day to shop. It's also my brother and sister-in-law's anniversary. And I think it's like their 21st. So they've been married a good long while. And I took an Erin Condren Celebrate sticker and put it on one of the um, Boulder Bond event stickers. So I just wrote their names underneath that sticker and I think that's cute. Just a little reminder to wish them a happy anniversary. And when I pick up my mom, we will go to her retirees luncheon that she does once a month and do errands, whatever we need to do. And that will be my last mom day of the month. Last mom day of the week, not the month. Not by a long shot. For Friday's payday sticker, I used one of these Planner Kate stickers. And it's just a little banner. And this one is the perfect color. It's kind of like that oatmeal um, clean color dot marker that I used for the lesson number. And just stuck it up there under the gingham. 
Saturday is when I'm going to try to get my plan with me filmed. So there's a plan week sticker that I'm just going to put right here. And I don't know why I put it over to the left, but let me put the dates that I'm going to be planning. So that's going to be the 24th through the 30th. And around noon is when I like to do it, if possible. Sunday is church, and I had a sticker for that, so I just wrote, I mean, I put the church script sticker there, and then let's see if the little church building looks good right there. Pretty cute, right? I also forgot that there was a little planner sticker that coordinates with this kit, it even has the same art as this kit here. Um, as a planner cover. So I just added that to where I'm going to fill my plan with me. And I do laundry on both days of the weekend. So I'm going to put like a strip of washi underneath this and then somehow make that look like a two day thing. And I'm going to write laundry here and hopefully make it not look, I mean, it looks really cute right now. And I could very easily mess this up if I write ugly. So I'm going to do my best. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. There you are. Our grandson is going to be three months old on Sunday. So I took one of these Erin Condren little baby onesies and just wrote, wrote three months on them. Um, and there are a few others on here, so you could use it for that sort of thing if you want to, to just mark the months or the weeks or whatever. And I think I'll just put it right up here at the very top of Sunday. Up here in this, before the um, highlighter line area, is going to be every day where I have breakfast and AM routine. So I'm using these header strips from the kit one for breakfast and one for a.m. routine, and I'm just going to go in and write that on all of these. That's what I'm talking about. And you might be wondering, why do you go to the trouble to write down breakfast? Like you don't want write lunch necessarily, unless it's a lunch date. Well, it's kind of because that is a special time. Like my husband and I really use our morning time to get focused for the day, we pray together, we listen to a chapter of an audiobook together, we kind of go of our day, and it's just an important kind of a ritual every day. So I mark it down. It's not an appointment in the traditional sense of an appointment, but it kind of prevents me from saying, oh yeah, sure, I'll meet you for coffee at nine o'clock. Because this is just kind of how we both, my husband and I both, have a much better day if we have that morning routine. So I've got these pretty full boxes and some open space. So why don't we just go ahead and use some of those to fill in the gaps. And then if something comes up that I need to write in this area, I can cover it with another sticker or write directly on that. I especially love this one, even though We've already gone over how <laughs> I have a not, I, I mean, I've kind of lost my love of the pumpkin spice latte. I don't know why, but it's just not my go-to fall drink anymore. That looks really pretty. And then how about the little couch with the bookshelf across the weekend evening hours. Let's see, I should put it right on a dotted line so that it's even when I go over to Sunday with the rest of the couch. Nice. Okay, I'm happy with this. There is some deco left, so um, let's write the memory verse first, and then I'll come in and maybe add some deco. As I said earlier, the memory verse is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, and it's the longest one that I have of the month. So as I write it, I will be flipping back to just consult it, because I don't have it memorized yet. And I'm going to go into time lapse to write this. Is 
a look at everything up close. And we're gonna go on to the compact vertical, which I will probably film all in time-lapse to save time. But it will have all this same stuff, just in more of a list format. Here's a close-up look of the compact vertical. And I added the deco that I didn't use from the vertical kit over onto this one. And I love how that turned out. In fact, I love how this little cushion on the chair says home. And it's just really nice. And if I have to write something right here, I can write right on top of that wreath if needed or around it. But I like how that turned out and so now you can get a look at the same kit in the hourly format, seven by nine, as opposed to compact vertical. All right, so what I'd like to do at the end of my weekly plan with me is to say a prayer for the upcoming week. And I've written one here that I'm using every week during the month of October. And I invite you to join me if you would like to. Heavenly Father, this month we thank you for parents, grandparents, and other elders in our lives who serve as wise and experienced resources to us. May we honor these dear ones with our time and patience. Aging can be both beautiful and painful. It may bring sweet rewards or rest, but also loneliness and sorrow. May the older people in our lives find joy and peace that can only come from you. Redeem those who are in darkness. In these cases, we ask that all roads would lead to you. Help us to be slow and unhurried around our older loved ones. Give us a spirit of compassion toward them so that they feel uplifted after being with us. Ease the aches and pains in your mercy and create a sense of anticipation and hope in the hearts of those who struggle with depression. Give our older friends opportunities for fellowship and fun and bring them closer to you than they have ever felt before. And as we age ourselves, help us to invest our time and energy in those things which are of eternal value. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Well, friends, that's going to do it for me. I thank you so much for hanging out with me and either planning or just listening and doing other things while we hung out together. And I will see you again next time. Mm -hmm.